This is the plaintiff, Karen Walton. She says she rented an apartment, and unbeknownst to her, the place had no heat and moldy carpeting and loud banging music coming from next door at all hours of the night. She couldn't handle it for long and gave notice and moved out. She's here in the name of tenants' rights, suing the unscrupulous and mean-spirited defendant for the $1,762.40 she's owed for security and moving expenses. This is the defendant, Alan. He says the plaintiff was his tenant, and she had issues with everything and everyone in the building from day one. From her neighbor's TV being too loud to alleging she had no heat or hot water and taking him to housing court. The woman's a professional scammer. She was a headache. He's happy to be rid of her, and he's confident all of her allegations will be shot down today in this court. He's accused of withholding money's owed. Uh, all parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiff says the apartment the defendant rented her was a nightmare. No heat, mold, and blaring music. But the defendant says she's a nut and a scammer. It's the case of can't stop the music, the literally. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Karen Walton? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, you are suing, you've asked us just to call you by your first name. You're suing uh, your yes. landlord, Alan, for 1700 Hundred and sixty-two dollars and forty cents. That is correct, Your Honor. That you say he owes you and refuses to repay. Tell me what's going on. Well, Your Honor, when I moved into this apartment last year, um, I had a few requirements. One of the requirements was that um, I had heat. Another requirement was that I couldn't have banging, pounding music because of medical d issues. Um, Alan assured me this would not be a problem in either uh, case. You couldn't have what was the second thing? Like banging music from other apartments. I require sleep because of medical issues. Everybody requires sleep. You're noise sensitive? Yes, very yeah. noise sensitive, Your Honor. So am I. So I know your pain, but go ahead. Okay, so um, when I moved into the, uh, the other issue was the carpeting. Um, when I looked at the apartment, the carpets hadn't been cleaned yet. And I said to him, you do intend on cleaning these carpets? He said they are cleaned. I was like, no, they're not. He's like, these carpets are done. I continued. He said he did do them? Yes, ma'am. OK. Um, the smell was atrocious. I let it go. I went out and bought some air fresheners. OK, so down the road, it was, I, I think it was like two months, Your Honor. All of a sudden, I got pounding music in my house. I called him up. I had knocked on my neighbor's door, and I asked him if he could keep it down a little bit at night so I could sleep. He was good for about the first week, but then it just got worse and worse and worse. Alan came to my apartment. He was like, okay, you have a choice. We can put up a sound barrier wall or we can clean your carpets, but you can't have both. Because of my help, I picked the sound barrier wall and had to live with the smell of the carpet. I have a list, Your Honor. I don't know if they gave What me. are you suing for? Um, I I'm trying to understand what you're suing for. I'm you lived there how long? I lived there eight months, Your Honor. And then you decided to leave? Not willingly, Your Honor, no. Why did you leave? I left because of no heat. Hey, tell me about the no heat. Okay, um, I have, this is really lengthy, Your Honor, but I have all the reports from license and inspection from my Section 8 workers. I have my medical Was this a Section 8 apartment? Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, how was he getting away with not providing heat? The law in Connecticut is the house had to register at least 65 degrees in temperature at all times. <clears throat> okay. Sadly enough, it did register at 65 degrees. So then what did you do wrong? The thing was, Your Honor, the, the house was freezing. It was, it was ice cold. I the got... house was inspected by Section 8. I need 8. you to wait. Sorry. Um, my I section. Mean, she's, you don't need, yeah, do you think you need to say anything? She just made your case for uh, you. Calm down. Go section ahead. eight even said that there was nothing they could do. Right, meaning that there was nothing that he was doing wrong. That you just need to be, you know, you need to be. I understand you have needs. We all have needs, but sometimes people have to pay for our needs, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes we got to pay for our needs. You know. So now let's talk about what your lawsuit is about. My lawsuit is... You, you are suing him because you had to move because 
You were, did she complain to you about the radio or the, the music that was coming from the other apartment? Yes, she did. There was no case there. I went myself to listen to it, to try and listen through the wall. I heard absolutely nothing. I brought other people to do the same. Nevertheless... Yeah, but maybe the person wasn't there playing music at that moment. No, the person not only was there, we had the same Samsung 40-inch LED TV that I have at home, and at number 24, that was he always used, that's what so, she wait, said to her. So, wait, the person was part of the experiment? You said to him, put the TV on like you normally put do. Put the a... TV on. Oh, you did. So absolutely. that person was part of the experiment. And then we went to the, her apartment to see if we hear anything. There was absolutely nothing. But I said, maybe she, I'm also sensitive to noise. And by the way, there is one paragraph that says in the list, a quiet enjoyment. You yeah, can sure. hear music, but the guy upstairs, downstairs, to the right of your life, it's not uh, yeah. his music. But nevertheless, we build an acoustic wall, cost us $900, $900 just the material, without the labor, it was well over $1,000. We charge her for that $0 and 0 cents. She's talking also about some issues that were addressed in housing court, and the case was withdrawn by her, and I have it in front of me. Which uh, other issues? The uh, regarding the heat, we always give the required uh, temperature. As a matter of fact, some tenants complain, it's That's way too, too hot, hot here. <laughs> So what so she money, suffered. she's suing for the balance of a security deposit because you kept some she's money. She's suing $1,000 for moving. $1,000 for moving because a she decided to break the lease. She broke the lease. That was the agreement that the housing will allow her to break okay, the so lease. Okay, everybody, so everybody was was. Yeah, was we wanted agreement. her out. She's a nightmare. Okay. And, uh, and what was the, why did you, how much was the security deposit? The security deposit was $790. And, and how much a, did you keep? I uh, believe it, $667, which explains in the letter to her exactly what it is. Okay, now, now let me see that letter. There is a breakdown. Every deduction there was more than reasonable, more than fair. Okay, let's go over it. 428 to 430 occupancy. What does that mean? Because you gave her the keys early? Uh, she asked to have the keys three days prior, and we didn't charge her. But uh, now you're charging her because she's a pain and she sued you. Big time. But, no, we, okay. but your, <laughs> honor, your Honor, if I may, we look what we charge her, $16.20. Yeah, I know, and you're that, not going to uh, get her, it. Sir, right, not February the 2017 rent. Did she pay February? No, she we, did not, we did not get the, her share of the rent, $162 for, the, for that month. Okay. Which was the last month did she moved you, out. And did you t is that part of what you took out of the security Absol department? Absolutely. Okay. That's, uh, and then late fee, $16.20. Why is that? For the February non-payment of rent. Is that part. accurate that you no, did not Ronnie, pay February? Here is a copy of the money order and the receipt for my February 2017 rent. Okay, let's rent. see it. Absolutely. That's a... Uh, Okay, you handed me something for June of 2016. The bottom paper is the copy of the money order and the receipt from my February 2nd. How do I know you gave it to him? Your Honor, I mailed my rent every month. How do I know that this was cashed by him? He's saying he didn't get it. Absolutely not. Your Honor, all I can say no, is... No, but how, do you, how does a person prove... She, Your Honor, if I may, if it's in the United States Postal Service uh, money order, she can ask the, to see who cashed it. It's CVS. Me. CVS, you can call, it's even easier, you get it faster. You get the front and the back and see who signed for it. Unless she signed it herself, cashed it as a Correct. unused money order. Correct. Why would you think she would do such a thing? Uh, your Honor, if I, uh, you're going to stay here till the end of the year, if I how told you, you all the me, story. How about you just give me a taste? The taste, uh, it's a nightmare working with her, calling me in the middle of the night, texting in the middle of the night, talking nonsense, uh, blaming other tenants for nothing. That, that is the issue. So is 65 degrees too cold for an apartment? Yes. What's the right temperature? Uh, about 70, 75. 75? Yeah. Are you growing plants in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 78. What is going on here? These guys are growing some going inside the courtroom. How do I know that you didn't cash this, this money gram? You're just showing me a photocopy of a money gram, that's all. Because I didn't, Your Honor, I mailed. Well, no, that's not how so, I know. How I would know is that you would get the proof of where the money went, and that you can get from CVS. There's no problem. I didn't know I needed it. Okay, that. well, then you can't prove that you paid. Tell me about the toilet seat. Um, we give, like everybody, toilet seat, you know. A wooden, a nice one, and not the most expensive, not the... And uh, she used something that elevates, I think, the height of the toilet seats for her convenience. Uh, she said that she gave me the old toilet seats. I don't take toilet seats, never took from anybody. I buy at Home Depot and I... Uh, so you had to buy a and, toilet seat. And not only that, but here is what she gave us, which is, uh, I'll have to get here. Meaning because she took her own toilet seat when she She left. took her own toilet seat, but she put another one replacement, which is so uh, oversized that you cannot really... Let me see it. I, I, it's Carpets, replacement, odor, discoloration. 
Correct. According okay. to you, any any odor in the carpet is the the result of her cat. The, mainly of her cats, and uh, how many cats does she have? She had one, but the cat never went out or anything. Oh, here is the one. Let's two. Just hand them all the pictures. Let's do yeah. that. You know, I, uh, I want to okay, for the next no one. Okay, no worries. <laughs> hand me these pictures. Um, now, that's the first time that's ever happened. Okay, usually people just want me to sift through stuff. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That cannot possibly be your attempt at replacing the toilet seat. And please and don't. And why are you replacing it? Like, according to you, you had permission to change the toilet seat, right? Right. And you left the toilet seat in front of what? In front of? His security room door. Okay. Um, except, if that's the case, then why did you go out and buy a non-fitting toilet seat to put there? Your Honor, I just tried to replace it because I knew what he was trying to do. I why knew... would you replace it with a toilet seat that's twice the size of the bowl? I didn't realize that when did I bought it. Did you think that was going to be helpful, that somebody was actually going to leave it that way for the next tenant? I mean, Section 8 wouldn't approve that. The carpet's replacement odor discoloration. This is wood floors. This is not carpet. That's is that after we lifted it? the carpet. That's the, the urine carpet. from the from the cat. Oh. Did you have a prior tenant in there that had pets? Uh, no, never. Did she ever complain I, I, when she moved in that there was a horrible odor that was unbearable? Absolutely not. In fact, Section she, 8... Section 8, section does, 8 inspected just days before. They and fly spec it. Okay, refrigerator cleaning. Yeah, the, the refrigerator was filled. Do you filled. have pictures of the fridge? Yes, I have. I have also the back of the refrigerator. The back of the refrigerator? Yeah. Why does she have to clean the back of the refrigerator? Thank That's your you job. The back of the refrigerator? No. Why is that a, the tenant's free, job? It's a freestanding well. Do you mean the back of the inside of the fridge? The back of the fridge, meaning all the dirt and the cat hair uh, sitting and the, here on the The coils. Guard. He did mean the coils. Hand it over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the inside, yes, but the... Uh... Light bulbs. Did you take the light bulbs when you <laughs> left? No, Your Honor, I have pictures of the light bulbs still in the lights. Did she take the light bulbs when she left? Yes, she did. Do you and have pictures of them Yes, I have. Missing? Actually, actually, she left one burned. Here they are. <laughs> I know what she's going to say right now. Here is one. I have a bunch of pictures, by the way. What's she going to say right Here now? Here is the stove, by the way. How Wait, tell me, tell me. What's she going to say right uh, now? She always denies things, or if something is not comfortable, I'm calling the police. I have how many times she was calling the police. I had enough with it. Oh. This your tenant, your uh, owner. This is a tenant from hell, in my opinion. Okay. I don't think you ever experienced something like that. All right, folks. Um, how do you figure he has to pay a thousand dollars for your moving costs? Your Honor, the only reason I moved out of this apartment was for lack of heat. Except for that we both know that he gave you the required legal heat. So what, why are you su suspecting that you can make $1,000 in my courtroom for having to move like he did something wrong when Section 8 already told you he didn't do anything wrong on that? I guess I can't, Your Honor. No, you can. And do you, how do you think that makes you look? Your Honor, I just thought I could. I, I mean... All right. There are two things uh, that I don't feel you have a right to... Um, withhold for. Handing her a key two days early, which you had never had any intention of withholding for. And the refrigerator cleaning, which I don't believe you have a right to withhold for. I am finding in your favor on everything else. You owe her $36.20. Pay the lady her $36.20. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Judge. Well, Mrs. Walton, the plaintiff, is on her way out of the court. You, you came in here suing for $1,762. You're getting 36 bucks back. How do you feel? I have nothing to say. Nothing? He called you the tenant from hell. Would you agree with that? No response. Alan, come on out here. I, I really gather you're glad to be rid of her. I'm Absolutely. really glad to be rid Am I right? Oh, really, really. <laughs> You don't mind giving her back 36 bucks? I'll give her, and uh, can I give her in pennies, and <laughs> dimes, and quarters? <laughs> well, but whatever. in my opinion, this is really uh, qualifies for the term tenant from hell. Okay. I can appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Harvey? So look, Doug, the laws vary from state to state with landlord-tenant. Go online, type in the name of your state, landlord-tenant law, and it will show you what your rights are.